The World Bank Group says it is committed to actively engage with local populations on its programs within host countries. Governance is another one. Uh, transparency is another one. Um, working together to make sure that we better the life of the Ugandan girls and boys is also another one that we really need to be all conscious about. Today, thousands of the public thronged the independence grounds in Kololo, making direct contact with ministries and agencies of government that are implementing World Bank-funded programs. And I request you to, one, be articulate as you explain the project activities and their impact on society. Two, focus your explanations and demonstrations on outcomes and results. And with barely a month after the World Bank Group reopened its taps, which had run dry since last August of accountability, execution and social protection matters, key institutions such as UNRWA and KCCA are promising better compliance. Uh, we're ensuring that the negative impacts, like I was talking about earlier, are not adversely affecting um, the vulnerable people, the women, the children, the elderly, and we're also ensuring that the, um, they in the community have a voice. And until the factories and the value addition industries are revived and the agriculture up country and investment is pushed outside Kampala, you're going to have the massive rural urban migration. At this first ever World Bank Group Open Day now set to become an annual event, the public and civil society too amplified the need to critically watch the utilization of its resources on major social fronts. We need to address the efficiency levels within the ministry. Probably it can help us have a better population that can live a quality life. So if we have seeds that can increase the yield gap to match the population growth, and I think our research is working on that, plus mechanization of production. Because we have only 4,700 around there, tractors, but close to 1 million vehicles. Last year, the multilateral lender halted further disbursement to Uganda, amounting to $1.5 billion, or approximately 5 trillion shillings affecting donor support in public transport, water and education, among other critical areas. What would make Uganda an even better country to live in? Think about what you want Uganda to look like in five or ten years. Think about and tell us what the World Bank Group and your government can do better and more. Honorable ministers, colleagues, friends, the future emerges from the... Reina Ojun, NTV Business.